student checkup excel 2-2 right and so we're actually going to start with our 2-1 workbook and then continue on with that so i'm going to go ahead and open that up and i'm going to save it under a new name and change the end to from 2-1 to do at 2-2 okay so here is my workbook i just saved it right up here you can see right at the end of my uh workbook title that it is now 2-2 and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start on this so I am on the Saturday and Sunday revenues worksheet which is this chart right so so what I need to do is I need to flip over to the restaurant revenue worksheet which looks like this and then I'm going to be editing this uh, chart right here down below so the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, change the chart theme. And so I'm going to do that by going up here, page layout, themes, right? So I'm going to be in the page layout tab under themes over here on the left. I'm going down to wood type, which is down here kind of towards the bottom of the themes. I'm going to click on that and apply the wood type theme. See, it changes the color and, and the layout or the the type there a little bit and then I'm going to update my chart title so right here so I clicked on it once um, you can actually up here on the top you can actually uh, enter the title change the title up there or you can triple click and actually select the font here and change the title so I'm going to change this to top three sellers right there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reformat this title here. So I'm going to select the whole thing so I can reformat it. And I'm going to change the font size to 28. And then I'm going to do the word art over here in format, right? Under the chart tools, the format tab, I'm going to change that word art style to fill black text one shadow, which is the first one right here on the left side of this grouping. Go ahead and click that and it's going to update the, the type there for me uh, the word art style now I'm going to go over here and select my chart so I need to cl click somewhere here. so I'm going to click up here kind of towards the upper right corner and it's going to allow me to choose the filter chart filter right that's this little button right here with the filter I'm going to click that and what I want to do here with my series right so the series are all of these the different colors in each day of the week it has uh, the series for the type of items I'm selling right so on this one I want specifically you can deselect ones that you don't want or you can click this select all and then go back and it'll deselect everything and then you can select what you need and I'm going to do pork chicken and steak right those are the three that I want out of the series then I'm going to go down here to categories do the same thing, deselect everything. I'm going to select Saturday and Sunday, and then I'm going to hit apply the button down here at the bottom, and then there you go. So it's going to leave the, uh, the pulled pork, barbecued chicken, and steak just for Saturday and Sunday. So those are my top three sellers. Then I'm going to go ahead and down here towards the bottom of my chart, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and then I'm going to select this bottom circle here I'm going to pull it down so it is on row 36. I'm not going to change the uh, width of my chart I'm just going to make it a little longer there. I don't have exactly the same format that's in the book here. What I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and go up to my uh, design button here. Click on my design button in my chart tools and what I need to do is I need to flip or switch my row and my column. And so I'm going to hit this button right here. So right there, it's going to switch row and column. So what that's going to do is going to take my, you know, let's go ahead and click it and I'll show you what it does here. Right. So right now, Saturday and Sunday are grouped here. What it's going to do is it's going to make the different graphs Saturday and Sunday and the groupings now are going to be the product type, right? So pork, chicken, and steak are my groupings instead of having my groupings of charts be Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday is in each of the groups, right? Where before we had the Saturday and Sunday and each of the product type was in Saturday and Sunday groups, right? Now we're grouped by, 
by our product type. So that, that makes it look like the one in the book there, right? Like the assignment. And then we're going to go ahead and click on our quick layout button. So that's going to be up here towards the top left. And we're going to pick number layout number three, which is the one over here in the right corner. So that changes our layout just a little bit there. Make sure it's that. Then we're going to select the legend down here, Saturday and Sunday. And we're going to go to our home which gives us some formatting options. I'm going to resize that font to 14 and make it bold. And then I'm going to go to the x-axis, which is the product type here, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to flip that to uh, the font size to 14, and it will be bold as well. And then I'm going to go to the y-axis, which is our dollar bills here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it 14 and bold. That changes the look a little bit of our chart here. I need to go ahead and double click on this. Okay, so there we go. So, so here I've got the format axis coming up and I'm gonna wanna click on number, which is the bottom option there. I'm gonna go ahead and select this category. I wanna, want it to be currency, decimal place is zero and the symbol uh, as the dollar. So it's gonna, I'm just gonna leave those settings uh, the same. If they happen to be different on yours, you can switch it to what I have here decimal places zero so we don't want any decimal places we want the symbol to be the dollar sign and then we're going to go ahead and close the format axis now we're going to go to the gonna go back here and we're going to change some of the chart elements okay so we're going to click our and we are going to format the plot area okay so there it is so we can kind of see the plot area here is actually where uh, the graph is plotted out here in the bar graph here. So let's go ahead and double click on that and it's going to be format plot area. That's our going to, it's going to be our pane that opens up here and we need to go to the shape fill. So this is our fill right here, that little bucket. And then we're going to hit on fill We come down to picture and texture fill. Click that radial button and we're going to click online right here. So that's the option right over here to the far right online it's going to open up a box for us in that box we are going to type brick wall and hit enter and then there's a lot of options for brick walls you can pick any of these that you want i'm going to go ahead and select one it doesn't really matter which one you select as long as it's a brick wall right so i'm going to go ahead and select one here and um, we'll use this one right there and then it updates there on in the background as a brick wall and then we're going to close our format plot area now what we need to do is we're going to be selecting the different series right so this one right here the lighter one is the saturday series the darker one is the uh, sunday series so we're, we're going to do this on the sunday one which is the darker and so we're going to go ahead and uh, click on that you can see that that's all selected there you want to be able to select all of it right so I went ahead and double clicked which opened up my my format data series option then I clicked off of it and clicked back on I want all of these select you can see the little selection outline on all of the series right I want them all selected um, if you can also click for example you can click control right you can click on one and if the all of them aren't you can click you can go through and click on each right uh, as well so here's the here's our data series it's open there and what we want to do is we want to format it so we're going to click the fill button and, and then we're going to go back to our picture here so there's our fill we're going to go to picture and texture and click online again and we're going to type barbecue steak right there and hit enter want to pick one you can pick any one you want to pick there and then click insert we can see that it shows up here as uh, the fill for the graph and what we want to do is we want to click stack here So that one is on the bottom. So we see right here Stretch is currently selected. We want to click stack and then we can see it also changes down here in our uh, Key as well our legend and then uh, what we want to do is we want to select uh, Change the border, right? So we have fill here. So we're going to go down to the we can close fill open up border and we want to do a we want to change to a solid line. We want to change that solid line to black text one right there. And then we want to change the width to two. So we can go ahead and click up on this. We can also just key the number in if we want to as well into the width. 
Um, now we can select Saturday, the Saturday fill series, right? So we're done with the Sunday one. So now we're going to move on to Saturday. And what we want to do with Saturday is we want to do the fill again. And this time we're not going to put a picture in there. We're going to just fill it with a color. So it's going to be um, our solid fill. This color we're going to select is going to be this orange color up on top, orange accent one. We are going to put a border in there as well. We can close fill or leave it open and just scroll down either way. So we're going to do our border. We're going to make that uh, black text one again. And the width we're going to put on the border is going to be 1.5. So that's going to be our format. So we see that we have that formatted correctly now. So now we're going to go ahead and move on by clicking on the Saturday and Sunday revenues uh, worksheet tab. So we're done with this worksheet. We can move on to the next one. Okay. So here's our Saturday and Sunday revenues. On this one, we're going to uh, we have it selected. We see that it's selected. What we want to do is we want to go to um, the change chart type button. Okay. So that's going to be uh, right here in the chart tools design tab change chart type right there. So we're going to select that. We're going to go down over here to column and to 3D cluster column. It's going to be our selection. We can just leave it right there, that first one that we select and click OK and we see it updates to our 3D cluster column chart type. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to go to our quick layout and we're going to select layout one right here. Layout one the first one there to select. We're going to change our chart title right here. I'm going to select that and we're going to change the chart title to um, our an orange accent, the word art fill, orange accent, right? We're going to change that. So that's going to be over here in format and that's our word art format that we're going to use. It's uh, orange accent color one shadow. Go ahead and click on that one. We're going to go ahead and change it to 28 font. Do that by going to the Home tab, flip over to 28, and we're going to make it bold. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to select the legend, which is over here to the right of the uh, on our chart, and we're going to resize that to 20. We're going to make sure that that is bold as well, which it already is. Now we're going to go to our x-axis, which is the bottom of our chart here. We're going to change the font size to 10. And we are going to the y-axis, which is our, our uh, numbers, our dollar bills there. And we're going to change that to 12. So that's the very end. So that's what we have there. We have everything formatted correctly on that one. And we can go ahead and save this. Make sure to hit save. Go ahead and submit this document up to Canvas for your student checkup Excel 2-2.